Don't worry about imps. Get rid of them later. I wanted to touch base with um, you guys, especially if you're a student or looking to be a student in the arts and applications to go to various universities can be different today from what they were in my day um you know i feel so so sorry for you guys at the moment because in my day it was kind of a little bit more of a rites of passage you know Sometimes it wasn't so much about the artwork, it was um, the journey, the investigation, communicating with different people, different creators. And I remember um, me and my friend, um, I was fortunate enough to uh, be given an unconditional um, so I could pick and choose whatever universities that I wanted to go to. And um, we went on uh, an investigation and um, our car broke down at a particular university. We had to go to the uh, student union, as you do, for salvage and got very, very, very drunk. And that's why we chose the university. <laughs> so we ended up... Um, applying for the university and got accepted for the interviews now when we went for the interviews we all got put into a b and b and there were lots of other candidates there and they're all showing the portfolios out and getting them out and in a way it was kind of like spying on the competition you know oh oh god oh, you're gonna be good anyway um I still carried on uh, investigating uh, the town and uh, was very, very drunk the next morning for the interview. And so we go there and there's 25 applicants. I've, mine was graphic design, there were illustration and, and there's such forth from a media and a 3D downstairs. Um, so 25 out of all of them, one per day. And I think these 25 went on for a week or interviews. I got into my interview, presented my portfolio, and I was hungover, and I am a scorpion. And they got me on the wrong day. They started uh, talking about my portfolio, saying that effectively they felt it didn't guide there wasn't enough clear direction as to what the message was and i pepped up and oh it's the alcohol in me i said i am not designing for the sun star type reader where it's blatantly plastered the message mine is for the guardian independent type intellectual readers and it's an insult to their intelligence to blazantly put the message there they want to engage and think about it and um stormed out and then went back to the car that isn't moving because it's broken down and um slept my hangover went back and <laughs> i got chosen <laughs> amazing do not under any circumstances take that as advice to go for a university art uh, interview no 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 no. that was back in a uh, you guys today have got a completely different remit that you have to go through and like i said you know that was an experience that was fun <laughs> And when I got to university, I still, um, and you'll probably find it in a lot of the other programs <laughs> that I think get on with the lecturers. Malcolm! Um, but also, listen to this friend of mine, Neil Gaiman, who has given uh, a, a very inspiring uh, graduation speech. Any kind of career plan. And I never did, 
The nearest thing I had was a list I made when I was about 15 of everything I wanted to do. I wanted to write an adult novel, a children's book, a comic, a movie, record an audio book, write an episode of Doctor Who, and so on. I didn't have a career, I just did the next thing on the list. So I thought I'd tell you everything I wish I'd known starting out, and a few things that looking back on it, I suppose I did know, and that I'd also give you the best piece of advice I'd ever got, which I completely failed to follow. <laughs> First of all, when you start out on a career in the arts, you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> People who know what they're doing know the rules, and they know what is possible and what is impossible. You do not, and you should not. The rules on what is possible and impossible in the arts were made by people who had not tested the bounds of the possible by going beyond them. And you can. If you don't know it's impossible, it's easier to do. And because nobody's done it before, they haven't made up rules to stop anyone doing that particular thing again. <laughs> Secondly, if you have an idea of what you want to make, what you were put here to do, then just go and do that. And that's much harder than it sounds, and sometimes in the end so much easier than you might imagine. Because normally there are things you have to do before you can get to the place you want to be. I wanted to write comics and novels and stories and films. So I became a journalist, because journalists are allowed to ask questions and to simply go and find out how the world works. And besides, to do those things I needed to write, and to write well. And That's I was being given, paid to uh, learn how to write a very economically, inspiring, crisply, uh, graduation sometimes under adverse conditions. Uh, to university students. And I hope you really ingratiate in that and you learn from it. Um, on to the future. I hope there is a future. It seems to be, yet again, we're getting a new art movement. We're getting digital art. We had pop art, we had Dada, we had Bauhaus, Impressionism, Renaissance. Now we're getting a, a new form of art. And as artists, you have to embrace that development. Don't get worried about it. Still stay true to your creativity. Maybe these new developments that are happening, you'll pick up on little bits and add them into yours and develop something that you never thought would possibly happen. So don't discard the fact that everything is turning digital. Utilise it. Use or think of it as another brush. And if you get a lot of excitement out of brushing digital in whatever way, it's expression, it's, it's still art. And and the same would go with graffiti and Banksy. You know, I said at university, that particular university, and argued with them, that graffiti was in itself an art movement. And they threw it aside and said no, and look at it now. <coughs> to you. Listen to Neil Gaiman, get on with it. Enjoy the world of art. I, however, am still investigating and I'm learning it's not just about the brush. It is a market, a business. There is a big difference between the art world and the art market. What we have to look at is what's in between what connects them and maybe this brush will be the one that connects them I don't know <laughs> become a subscribe you know what to do and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next installment hope this helps you students out there get out there don't worry about it be yourselves be creative don't worry <laughs>